The Anker 757 is a power station with a total output of 1500 watt or 1229 watt hours, which means it's possible to power a variety of camera electronics at the same time for multiple hours. Depending on the region, the power station has between 2 and 6 AC power outlets. A car charger can also be used with a 12 volt car socket. To avoid a drain of power, the AC outlets and the car sockets need to be turned on. Additionally, there's also a switch to turn on power saving, which is recommended when charging smaller electronics or when the power station is not in use. There are also two USB-C outputs, one with 100 watt and the other one with 60 watt. There are also four regular USB-A outputs. When plugging in a device, the screen will lighten up and show all important info, such as current battery status of the 757, voltage frequency, which connection is being used, power input and output, as well as how many hours of runtime are remaining. We recently used the power station on a remote video shoot and actually plugged in two of these mirrorless cameras as well as two of these lights which are now in frame. They each have a maximum output of 100 watt and in total we got an estimated runtime of about five to seven hours. We didn't let it run for so long, only about two hours, but had no issues. And in case you're wondering how we did that, we all used the AC output, but actually with a power strip. So we have multiple AC plugs because of course not every device has a USB connection. So that's another advantage. You don't have to worry since the AC output is very high. And with just the two cameras plugged in, we got about 25 to 30 hours estimated runtime, which is quite a lot. While it's possible to power a high-end computer with a 757, so far we have only used it on location to power a laptop. When editing videos, we got a total of two hours of use, while the power station's battery was at 35% in the beginning. After the power station was fully charged again, the power supply for the laptop lasted for more than 5 hours. Recharging the unit from 0 to 80% only takes 1 hour when using the AC input. It's also possible to connect the 757 with solar panels on the back and charge it with a maximum input of 300 watt, which takes less than 4 hours. According to Anker, the power station's LFP batteries have up to 3000 charging cycles. Besides being able to use the so-called powerhouse on set, it can also be used as an uninterruptible power supply, short UPS, for example with video editing computers. According to the manufacturer, the time it takes to transmit the power to a PC in case of a power outage is less than 20 milliseconds. So far, this is the only power station on the market that has this feature. Anker markets the 757 as their high-end model and it also is the biggest and heaviest in the powerhouse line, weighing almost 20 kilos, so calling it a powerhouse is really suiting. The housing is made from plastic, but feels well built. On the top of each side is a big handle. This means it's possible for one or two people to carry it. Both sides of the device are open to allow enough airflow for the built-in fans. The noise of the fans isn't very audible below temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. But even then the device still works reliably, which is to be expected from a product in this price range. The white stripe above the screen is a horizontal LED light with a warm color temperature. The brightness can be increased in three steps, which can come in handy in dark surroundings, either when having trouble finding an input or when carrying around the power station in the dark. The 757 Powerhouse isn't an average portable power station to quickly charge a phone or battery. 
Anchor also offers more compact power stations like the 521 with a capacity of 200W, which we have also tested. This is a much more lightweight solution that can be useful to power one camera, but also some additional gear. With its capacity of 1229 watt hours, the 757 on the other hand is definitely aimed at professional video production and small crews. So for us the main reason is not to use it to charge small electronics, but to be able to run a small set even for multiple hours. So overall I think this is a good fit for video production that should be remote. But of course also if you're doing video editing or some sort of important task that shouldn't be affected by a power outage, you can certainly use this as a UPS.